What's going on everybody? I'm Kells and I smell really good. So today I just thought I'd make a video on five uh, fragrances that I picked up recently. So these are all kind of these all kind of fall in like the gourmand category. So let's go ahead and get into this list. Number one from the house of hermetica and this is a uh, sandal sun it's a cool interesting bottle i bought this used off of a uh, mercari so it has a a dent in there but you know it's whatever the cap kind of comes off real easy i don't know if it comes like that out the box but stuff smells really nice it's very sweet it has like a this this has kind of like a sunscreen feel to me i'm not sure why but some of the notes, there's almond in here, um, vanilla, it's powdery. I don't know. It just gives me like a sunscreen vibe, but it smells really good. It's milky, kind of lactonic. I enjoy it. I wore it the other day. I went and got tattooed yesterday. I got this Darth Maul guy right here. He's pretty sick. I wore it to that, and I would say it lasted a good, you know, five, six hours. Didn't wasn't like a projection beast or anything like that, but I'll have to give it some further wear to really give you some, some an idea of how how it you know performs. So let's go ahead and move on to number two on this list. Is actually labeled as a female as a women's fragrance. It's called Star by Mabusen. Pretty inexpensive fragrance. Look at this atomizer. Super freaking good atomizer. Yeah, this stuff smells really good, man. This is sweet, gourmandy, has praline in it. Uh, there's a praline note. It has vanilla, tonka, I think heliotrope, which kind of has a little bit of a feminine, you know, kind of lean. Um, pineapple, I think I said that. Um, it does have an iris note, too. I pick up on the iris. It kind of gives me that Dior Homme intense kind of vibe, but not like, not to that level. It's not that intense. Um, I took this to work. And my buddy smelled it. He had no clue it was a women's fragrance. I didn't tell him that. I just said, you know, check this out. He's like, that's really good. I really like that. He's not the type of dude who would like, would wear women's fragrances probably. But, you know, I don't care if something smells good. I'll wear it. I think fragrance is genderless for the most part. Yeah, this stuff is, I think it's down the middle unisex. I think anybody could wear this. I love the bottle. I thought it was super cool. This is a hidden gem in my opinion. You can get it for like $30, $35 on Amazon. Really good quality. Smells really good. Doesn't smell cheap. I like this one a lot. I layered it the other day with a Nishine Ani. Not the, I don't have the actual Ani, but I have a clone of it from Alexandria. And it smelled delicious. I got compliments from coworkers. Yeah, this stuff's really nice. It's uh, Mabusen Star. Coming in at the third spot. This is, I'm starting to see this around more and more. It's called Kaltat Night. I'm sorry if you can't see that in the camera. You probably can, but it's called Kaltat Night by the House of the guitar collection once again kind of a loose cap not too bad not as bad as the sandal sun but this stuff is just delicious man this stuff smells like ojan it smells like pdm ojan man it's so good this is a niche fragrance this is a niche quality um you can get it on joma shop for a pretty good deal i think around like 80 dollars 75 80 dollars that's what i got it for this is definitely worth it it's like ojan with a cherry touch to it Smells way better than that Legion from Fragrance World clone I got. Way better than that. Way more high quality. Delicious, man. It's got like that tart cherry note in it with that honey and cinnamon. Gorgeous. Absolutely a gorgeous fragrance. And like I said, just amazing quality. Like, it's just really good stuff. You need to get this. Actually, I'm going to show you the box that this came in. Box. This came in this box. It's like a felt material. This is how it came. I just wanted to show you guys this. It's just a gorgeous presentation. It comes in this cool box. It's like a nice soft felt material. It pops off. And there it is. Yeah, this stuff is really good, man. Give it a try. It's called Tot Night by the Atar Collection. Next up on the list, this is another niche fragrance. Yeah, this next one, it's another niche fragrance. It's from the house of the Merchant of Venice. It's called Andalusian Soul. It's, it reminds me of something. I don't know what exactly. I feel like I've smelled this on a woman or like a girl like a long time ago. I don't remember. I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm a, I highly doubt they're wearing this, but 
It's just got like that caramel, it's got like a caramel, vanilla, very warm, like deep, just a very like warm fragrance, if that makes any sense. Not a warm weather fragrance, but you know, kind of like the bottle looks, you know what I mean? Just those autumn vibes, like, you know, fall, winter. I don't see this anywhere in the spring, summer at all. This is way too overpowering for the summer. This actually has a rodent note in it, which I thought was kind of weird. It has a civet, civet note in there, which I know is in some other, like, niche perfumes and stuff. But I don't know, man. This stuff smells good. Um, check out the atomizer. It's pretty good. You know, it puts out a decent amount. It's not the best I've seen, but pretty good. I love the bottle. There's there's the top of the cap. It's got, like, a cool little, like, compass-looking weird thing. I don't know. I love I think this stuff. I think this bottle is amazing. It's good. Um, I have to give it more, some more wear, but it's just a very, it's got Tonka rum. It does have rum. I wouldn't say it's like, it's not in your face rum, but it's there slightly boozy, but it's more so like a vanilla, like caramel. I don't even think caramel's in it, but it's more so like a warm vanilla, caramel, sugary, like syrupy kind of deal. It's really good. This is only the, I believe the 50 mil. But yeah, they have a lot of stuff I want to try. This house does. I want to collect the bottles. I think they look really sick. So, yeah, this is Andalusian Soul by The Merchant of Venice. I actually just got this one in today. I just thought I would throw it in. It's from the house of Cupid. And it's called Number 6. That cap is gigantic. Look at that thing. I've seen wooden caps, but that thing is just huge. There's the Cupid on the top. Very sweet fragrance the atomizer kind of sucks on this i'm not even gonna lie look at that that's a really bad atomizer like bad bad so it's pretty expensive it's not cheap it was up there like 80 to 100 dollars. now when i first spray this i'm gonna spray it on a tester strip yeah that's an awful atomizer like bad but so strong when i first spray this it's like alcohol blast man this stuff smells like whiskey like right up the rip it smells like some Crown Royal or something. This stuff is uh, really strong, but I wore it earlier. It dries out on the skin. It's like a very nice, pleasurable, sweet, honey, slightly boozy scent. It's, it smells good. I can't say a whole lot about it yet. I don't know a whole lot about it yet, but it caught my eye. I thought it looked cool. I wanted to try it. I just want to come back and say, actually, um, this Cupid number six actually doesn't have a any alcohol notes in it it, uh, it smells boozy to me but it doesn't it has um sweet notes it's got marshmallow vanilla uh, ylang ylang i don't even know what that smells like to be honest that could be it i don't know cedar wood it's got some white musk yeah there's no booze in this but this is this opens up incredibly boozy but yeah the dry down is like the dry down is nice so keep it number six just want to get a video out guys uh, i have a lot of stuff coming in whole lot of different fragrances i plan on coming out with a lot of different stuff if you guys have any ideas for videos or anything like that let me know i appreciate you guys i love each and every one of my subscribers i know i just hit 50 subs so that's cool for me i've been doing this for like a month so i really appreciate that tell your friends about me love you guys peace out